Hi everyone, it's Maggie here. Today I've got a restorative yoga flow for you. So you'll get into a few nice restorative postures opening up through your hips. We're also going to go into a few mobility exercises. So you'll want to have your mat near a wall and you'll want a block and a pillow as well. The pillow will help you if you need to support your knees in a low lunge variation. All right, let's get started. You're going to start at the top of your mat, standing with your feet about hips width, and just close your eyes. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then inhale, reach your arms all the way up. You can open your eyes, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling, drop your shoulder blades down your back. Keep drawing your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, forward fold. Bend at your knees to fold all the way down. Halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to repeat that two more times. Reach all the way up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Slightly bend your knees as you fold down. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins. Really feel length through your spine and fold all the way down as you exhale. One more time, reach all the way up, Tadasana, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold down. Now lunge your left leg to the back of your mat. Plant your hands on the ground. We're gonna make this really easy to start. Drop your back knee to the ground. Just lengthen your chest on your inhale. And as you exhale, it's half split. So start to shift your hips back and flex your right foot as you peel your right toes towards your face. Pause here for a couple breaths. Draw your right hip back and flex your right foot a little more. Nice. Inhale, start to rebend your right knee. Come back to that low lunge. And if you'd like, you can tuck your back toes, but you're gonna keep your back knee down. We're going to move through that dynamically for a couple breaths. So take another inhale here. And half splits, shift your hips back. Inhale, rebend into your knee, lengthen your spine, maybe look forward. And exhale, sit back to your half splits. One more time. Inhale, rebend, lengthen your spine. And exhale, half splits, really flex your right foot. This time, rebend into your right knee. If you haven't already, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the ground. You're in a runner's lunge now. Think about drawing your right hip back and your fingertips might come to the ground or maybe both your palms. But start to squeeze your left glute. Just a little bit of activation here. A little bit of firing up through your back leg, building some internal heat. And it's not going to be a whole lot of strengthening this practice, but I want you to think about drawing your belly to your spine and squeezing that left glute a little bit more. And now plant your hands really firmly on the ground, three-legged downward facing dog. It's just one of the bigger movements of today. Bend your right knee, stack your hip. If you'd like, you can circle out your right ankle or your right knee. You can even move that whole knee in a big circle to create more movement through your hip socket. If you circled one way, circle the other way. We won't do that too much more. I know it's a lot, and we're trying to restore today. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. It's three-legged down dog. Step your right foot to the top of your mat, right where it came from, and then step your left foot up to meet your right. Halfway lift. Inhale. And fold forward. Exhale. Rise up to stand. Tadasana. Take a big breath in. Lengthen. Neutralize your spine. And forward fold as you exhale. Keep your belly button pulled to your spine on the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, and forward fold. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Drop your back knee to the ground, nice and easy to start. Draw your left hip back, and on your exhale, half splits. This first round, your left knee can stay super bent. On inhale, lengthen your spine and start to re-bend into your left knee. As you exhale, Half splits, shift your hips back. Maybe you work towards a little straighter left leg. Rebend into your left knee, inhale. 
Last time, exhale to your half splits. Really flex your left foot. Draw your left hip back. And this time, rebend into your left knee. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee off the ground. Using this to build strength and heat in your body so that when you can release and restore, you're already warm and ready to do it so you won't have any injuries. So squeeze your right glute. Draw your left hip back. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. If your fingertips are on the ground, then plant your palms firmly. Three-legged downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high. Bend your knees. Stack your hips. Should feel like a yawn for your body. You might have some cracks and some crinkles through your hips. That's okay. Circle your ankle. Circle your knee. Continue to push a lot through your left palm just as much as your right here. So you want to think square shoulders, but length, knee towards the ceiling. If you haven't already, switch your circles. Straighten your left leg on your inhale. Draw your knee towards your nose. Step your foot to the top of your mat. And bring your right foot up to meet your left. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, fold down. Rise all the way up to stand. Reach your arms high. And bring your hands to your heart. And hands down by your sides. You're going to move next to your wall, which you're already close to. Place your right hand near the wall on the wall and cross your left leg on top of your right. So you want to have a little bit of a distance from your feet away from the wall. You're going to start to lean your right hip in towards the wall. You're going to get an outer hip stretch through your right side. We're working a little bit more mobility now, a little less traditional yoga. Try to push through your whole right foot. And we'll hold it here for another three to five breaths. If you'd like to add more, you can lean a little further. You could even try reaching your left arm overhead. Maybe your left arm towards the wall. Or taking your left hand and placing it on the wall, just in front of your chest, and using that as leverage to lean a little further. On an inhale, come back up through center. And then you'll flip around and switch sides. We're going to repeat this two times each leg. So cross your right leg over your left first round here. Lean into your left hip and push through your entire left foot. You're feeling a stretch through your outer left hip here, your TFL. Maybe through this left side of your body. Continue to think deep belly breathing. If you'd like to add any extra arm variations here, You've got about three to five more breaths. And notice one side is different than the other, and that's totally fine. Try to push down through that left foot a little bit more, pressing the ball of your foot on the ground. Inhale, come back to center. And then flip it around. We'll go one more each way, a little bit shorter. Cross your left leg over, and if you're feeling a little more open, you could take a bigger step away from the wall for this round. Lean a little bit further deep in that stretch. You'll also push into your left foot here. It's a little bit of a stability counterbalance. Using your breath will help you get a little deeper into the posture, into the stretch. It'll open up more spaces in your body. On your next inhale, come back up through center. Switch your sides. Last round. After this, we're going to move into a quad stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left first. Push down through both feet. Lean. Add the arm variations as you'd like. On an inhale, press away from the wall. Come back to center. You're going to have two options for this quad stretch. The first one, you'll place your foot, your right foot first, up against the wall. Your toes are untucked, and you're going to end up coming down into a lunge, bending deeply into your left leg, keeping your left foot all the way on the ground. You might have to kind of shimmy your body back, and this is a great place for a pillow underneath your right knee. If this is way too much for a quad stretch for your right leg, you can also just take a runner's lunge as you did before, and then you can reach around right hand for your right ankle. The closer your body is to the wall, if you're in the wall stretch, the deeper the quad stretch will be. Especially if you're on a hard floor, having the pillow under your right knee is helpful. 
Continue to have deep belly breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. And if you're able to press up onto your thigh, hands onto your thigh, you can also take a little twist from your thoracic spine, keeping the line of your body from the crown of your head to your back knee. One long line. So avoid hinging too far or arching your back too much. And come back through center. Place your hands on the ground and then carefully step away from the wall to just switch your legs. You'll step your right foot forward. Your left leg will go towards the wall, toes untucked against the wall. And again, you can always take this as a runner's lunge instead of your left foot up against the wall. You can reach your left hand around for your left ankle if you're in a runner's lunge. You can walk your hands up towards your thigh if you're against the wall. Your option is to add the twist, and you've got four to five more breaths here. We'll only do this stretch one time each way, but if you'd like to pause and you can repeat this as many times as you'd like, about 30 seconds each side, always maintaining even keel breathing, same amount of length on your inhales as your exhales. Bring your hands back down to the ground. Slowly remove your left foot from the wall. Find your way back to your mat. Standing at the top of your mat, facing forward, reach your arms up on your inhale. Breathe in big. Exhale, forward fold. Slightly bend your knees on the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. High plank, step your feet back. First time that you're in a high plank today, we're not here long. Draw your belly towards your spine, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Pedal your feet out here. We'll ultimately be going into a calf stretch, but just a little dynamic movement for your calves here. Pedaling one foot and then the other towards the mat. Land with a big bend in your right knee, pushing through your left foot, making your left leg a little bit straighter. If you'd like to add something more, you can cross your right ankle behind your left foot here. Press your heart back towards your thighs. Lift your hips up a little higher. And continue to pull your belly button towards your spine. Uncross your right ankle. Place your right foot down. Then start to bend into your left knee. A deeper calf stretch through the entire backside of your right leg. You have the option to place your left ankle behind your right. Just a few more breaths here. Now uncross your left foot. Place both feet on the ground. Inhale, come back forward to a high plank. Just for a breath, take a deep inhale. Bring your knees to the ground and lower all the way down to your belly. Exhale. Your legs extended long behind you. Rest your right ear on the ground. Take your right arm straight out beside you or into more like a 90 degree bend, depending on your level of mobility through your shoulder. With your right ear on the ground, you'll place your left hand down and start to lean onto your right side. You might take your left foot all the way behind you for a deeper stretch. If your arm is bent at 90 degrees, your elbow is either right in line with your shoulder or just in front of your shoulder. Just make sure that it's not too deeply bent and close to your side. Keep pushing down through your palm, even keel breathing. So we've already worked through a side bend stretch, a deeper quad stretch, a calf stretch, and now you're working into your pecs, the front of your body. If you'd like to place a block underneath your right ear, that's always a nice option. Try to get rid of any excess tension that's not serving you. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, come back through center. You might need to scoot your body over away from the wall, a little bit further to the right side of your mat as you extend your left arm out, either to that straight line or 90 degree bend. Bring your left ear to the ground. Lean onto your left side. Take your right leg behind you. Notice if this side feels a little different than the first. That's totally natural. Give your body what it needs on this side during this practice. No practice is the same. 
So today you might be feeling super tight from a workout you had earlier this week. Give your body what it needs. Maybe take your left ear to a block. If you're ready to go further, you can always push more into your right hand and lean a little bit further onto your left side. On your inhale, come all the way back through center. Reset your body. Take your hands by your ribs. Press up to a tabletop. And a few gentle cat and cows. On an inhale, drop your belly. Lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Two more rounds. Inhale through cow pose. Exhale through cat pose. One more inhale, cow. Big breath in, collarbone, smile forward. Exhale, cat, belly to your spine. Find a neutral spine, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. With all that new space through the backside of your body, slowly walk your hands back to your feet to find a deeper rag doll. You can bend your knees a lot in this forward fold, grab opposite elbows or biceps. If you'd like, you can take your hands interlacing them behind your neck. Elbows will stay wide. You can kind of let gravity do its work here and just forward fold even deeper, releasing through your lower back. Release your hands. Gentle halfway lift, fingertips to your shins, lengthen your spine. Forward fold as you exhale. Rise all the way up to stand. Tadasana, inhale. Hands to your heart and hands down by your sides. Standing on your left leg, you'll have figure four pose. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. You're close to a wall, so you can use your left hand on that wall beside you. As you sit your hips back, feel the stretch through your outer right hip. You can also place hands at heart center. Testing your balance, you'll spread your left toes wide. Use your entire foot as your base. And then the further you sit back, the deeper the stretch through your outer right hip. Just keep your right foot flexed, and that'll protect your knee joint. Maybe you sit back just one inch further. And on an inhale, stand all the way up. Draw your right knee into your chest first. Squeeze your left glute, and then place your foot on the floor. A little bit of activation there. And then you'll switch sides. Left leg crosses over. You can always place your left hand on the wall for this side as well, or hands at heart center. Flex your left foot, sit your hips back. If you're feeling pain in your knee, you can always lift up just a little bit higher. You always make the poses work for you versus finding a picture-perfect moment in a pose. That doesn't really exist. It's always about the transitions and the breath to get you from one shape to the next. On an inhale, come all the way up to standing. Draw your left knee into your chest first. Squeeze your right glute and place your foot on the floor. Tadasana, reach your arms up. Inhale, deep breath. Forward fold, exhale out. Halfway lift, inhale. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands all the way forward. Sit your hips back. And lift your right leg into the air. Three-legged dog. You've been here before, but find a little more space this time. Lengthen your back leg. See if you can drop your left heel down a little further. Breathe in. Draw your knee towards your nose. Half pigeon. You warmed up through your outer hips already through that figure four. You can put a block underneath your forehead as you fold forward. You could take that pillow and fold it up underneath your right thigh if you need a little more support. This is a restorative practice, but you're still doing some work to protect your joints and to create space with your breath. So draw your right hip back and your left hip slightly forward. Lengthen your spine. And take five breaths here.
On your next inhale, start to walk your hands back up. Lengthen as you breathe in. Tuck your back toes and mindfully draw your right knee up and back to step back to down dog. Pedal your feet out a few times. Lift both your heels up high and sink them over to the left. So you're just going to push through the outer edge of your right foot, keeping both your hands down in downward facing dog action, just lifting your right hip up a little higher. It's kind of like that IT band stretch at the wall. Then you'll lift your heels up high through center and down into downward facing dog. Send your left leg high into the air, three-legged down dog. Same mindfulness as you push through both palms and your right heel grounds down further. One more breath in. Draw your knee to your nose, half pigeon. You can scoot your back leg back a little further if you need. Keeping your left foot flexed, just as you did in that figure four. Find your variation of the fold. With just that little bit of engagement, belly to spine, left hip back, right hip forward. Taking notice of where your body is in space and what you need in these moments, in this practice, just for today. These five breaths. On your inhale, walk your hands back up. Keep your left foot flexed, tuck your back toes, and use your core to step your left foot back to down dog. Pedal your feet out as you need, settle into this shape, then lift your hips up, sink your heels towards the right. Push through your whole left foot, push through both palms, and feel the deep outer left hip stretch, left side body stretch. Nice. Lift both heels up high through center. Bend your knees. Look forward. And you'll step or hop through all the way onto a seat with your legs straight out in front of you. Flex your feet. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Forward fold. Paschimottanasana. Exhale. And this is one of those poses where it's really not about straight legs or a picture-perfect moment. You make it work for you. So bend your knees or separate your feet. Protect your hamstrings by flexing your feet. Breathe in. Lengthen your spine just a little. Fold a little bit deeper. You can always take a block in front of your feet to deepen this stretch or just take your hands to your shins or the floor beside you to back away from it. Engage your core. Inhale. Sit all the way up. Reach your arms up tall. And then roll down to your back one vertebrae at a time. You have the option to bend your knees as you roll down, planting your feet on the ground. When you get to your back, draw your knees into your chest, maybe one at a time or both if it feels okay. Little rock side to side, circle your knees one direction, and circle them the other direction. And plant both feet on the ground, just one bridge pose, a nice easy bridge pose. If you have a block, you can take the block underneath your low back. Instead of interlacing your hands, either keep your hands by your sides, palms face down, or reach your arms all the way overhead, back behind you. And breathe in through your side body as you lengthen your chest, your hips might lift up. And sustain that on your exhales, a gentle squeeze of your glutes. Just a couple more breaths to open through the front side of your body. Inhale. And slowly lower all the way down on your exhale. Hands come down by your sides. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. Separate your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees fall together to touch. And then you can press your hands onto the tops of your thighs in an easy downward pressure. It might create some space through your low back, a little release before you'll bring your knees into your chest. And then draw your knees into your chest. Easy spinal twist. Knees fall over to the left. This is a great place for a block in between your thighs here. 
Your right shoulder softens down. Maintain thoughtful breathing, mindful breathing. Inhales through your nose, exhales through your nose. It's your final two poses of this practice today. If you have a block in between your legs, you can remove it and then slowly draw your knees back into your chest. Switch it up to the other side. Knees go over to the right. Take as much time as you need to set up this twist so that it feels good for your low back. If that means drawing your knees a little closer up towards your torso or taking the block in between your legs on the right side. Then let your left shoulder soften down. Nowhere to be but right here for these three breaths. Remove the block, slowly, gently, draw your knees back into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shins, take your nose up to meet your knees. Deepest breath in. Exhale to Shavasana, breath out. Expand onto your mat. This is the best pose of your practice. Soak it up, take up a lot of space. You can let your arms be open wide. Take a full body scan. Let go of any tension through your face muscles, through your shoulders, down your arms and into your hands. Anything your hips are holding on to, down into your legs, through your calves and through your feet. You become soft. Natural, easy breathing. Let the effects of your practice sink into your body. You'll be here for the next two minutes and then I will guide you out. Come back to your breathing. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms above your head. Take a really big stretch. It's like a whole new you waking up off your mat. And gently one knee and then the next. Draw them into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shins. Rock and roll forward and back a few times. Gain some momentum. Take your time and make your way up to a seat, cross-legged or a comfortable seated position. 
Rest your hands on your lap, either face down to feel more grounded or face up if you want to bring in more energy for your day. Take one more deep breath in. Empty it out. (sighs) Hands to your heart center. Thank yourself for showing up for you. Bow your chin to your chest, honoring this practice today and every day. Namaste. Namaste.